and welcome back to another episode of Foxy No Tales Minecraft Adventures here inside of my bedrock survival realm. And today I'm carrying on working on this. And if you don't know what this is, then you really need to go back and watch my last video. It is a three types of meat cooked meat farm. <laughs> it's a cooked meat farm. Basically, you put cows in here and breed them and the babies fall down. You put sheep in here and breed them and the babies fall down. And you put pigs in here and the babies fall down. And they all fall down through the pipes into these water streams and they end up here. Then they grow up. Then we press this button here. They get burnt alive and they gives us the meat. And that's very tasty, but it's a little bit cruel. But that's how we're going to get the meat. The problem is, in the last episode when I was building this, we had a bit of an issue with this one, which is for the pigs. And the reason is, because pigs are only one block tall, they, uh, they're a little bit glitchy when it comes to this. So one of my patrons actually came up with a rather good way of dealing with this, and they sent me a video highlighting a way I can completely change this design slightly <laughs> and make it work. So my design was basically like the cow one but with the slab there and some of the baby pigs didn't make it from that block to that block and fall down so what they've decided to do is if i put a trap door there like that the big pigs the adult pigs will still get stuck on top of it they won't be able to fall down but the babies will so then you would have a block like that and you would have it falling all the way down but as you can see my tube's in the wrong place so i'm basically going to have to rebuild uh, nearly all of this little one but that doesn't matter because it's going to be a much better system in the end so yeah i'm going to do that quickly and then i'm going to come back to you once i've finished rebuilding this little section here and haste 2 is not making my life easy although it is making my life easy it's also making my life very messy because i'm putting holes in everything I need, I need to stop putting holes in everything. Where are all of my levers? I have so many levers. Just not here. Somewhere I've got levers. I had millions of them. What have I done with them all? Someone stole my levers, mate. So down here looks a little bit odd now because it's one block further away from the wall. But that's not the end of the world. It doesn't look too off or weird. And it also means that our water flow is too far now. So I'm going to have to do something about that as well. I could probably just put a sign on that block over there. That's a bit of a shame that that's happening now. Because we don't want them to drown before they've grown up. And we don't want them jumping about and getting stuck everywhere. So let's grab a sign. And let's see if we can block that off without it causing too much of a problem. What I don't want to happen is I don't want the, the pigs... If you like, just jumping up and down in that bit of water. I do want them to fall down there, and I don't know if they're going to do that now. Oh, no, mate. Uh, start again. Right, I'm going to build the whole thing again. Put one block over this way. Oh, man. <laughs> one day I'll get this right. Right, that's the bottom part almost done. I've just got to do the top now, which I've had to completely destroy. Oh, man. It's going to be all lopsided when I finish this. Not to worry. It doesn't matter. It's only... A silly little farm. It really doesn't matter. It does matter. No, it doesn't. It doesn't matter at all. It does. No. Dispenser there. Water in the dispenser. Trap door there. No, no, no. See, you've done it wrong. Oh, that maybe that was right. Yeah, trap door there. Blocks there. Job's nearly a good one. Block there. Block there. Bit of glass, put a bit glass in like that. Bit of redstone on there. Go upstairs. Go upstairs. Move all this around. That needs to move. That needs to move. That needs to move. Don't fall down the hole. Oh, my trapdoor's gone in on itself again. Stop it. Block there. Slab there. Slab there. Button there. There we go. So that should now, if I pop that on, that should work. The pigs will jump up and down in there. And when they turn it off, they'll all fall down. That's good. So that is the pig one completely done. So they're all ready now. We just need to actually get the animals in here. We need to get some food supplies in here. And we need to decorate this thing as well. So first things first then. I think we should probably try and get the animals in. And I only need two of each one. And the reason I want to get the animals in first is because I want to start breeding them up. And I've just realized that this one doesn't have a sign in it. So that's that's a bit of a problem already. This one's not going to work if it's got... Oh, no, and I put a big hole in it. Stop fixing things, Foxy No Tail. You're making it worse. Yeah, I know. Not very good at Minecraft. Here we go. And now I'm stuck. I'm totally stuck now. Oh, oh man. This haste too. 
It's really handy when you're digging, but it's really annoying when you're building. I'm putting holes in everything. Stop it! Right, so that's ready. Has that one got a sign in? Yeah, so they're all ready to go. They're all ready. Oh, but having said that, we need we need to add something in here to so that when... Yes. Mm. Words. Words. They don't come easy, do they? Mm -mm -mm. No, they don't. Okay, so when I'm breeding these, obviously I don't want the babies to fall down. So I need to do something to stop the babies falling down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put... Oh, I need to break a hole through here very carefully, like that. There we go. I'm going to put a trap door there and just flip it down like that. And hopefully that won't get in the way when we actually come to use this thing. And I should be able to breed them up and then open that when I'm happy that there's enough of those in there. And I'm going to do the same thing on the cow one as well. So if we just break that there, put that there like that, and then we should be able to breed those two up. And the pig one is nice and simple. I've just put a lever there, which should, hopefully, if I flick it right, there we go. No, it doesn't work. Opens those ones. Hmm, okay. Well, in that case, then, what we'll do is we'll just break that bit of glass for now like that, and we'll just pop that across the... Oh, no, that's in the wrong place. No, that's not going to work, Foxy no -tail. Try again. You're totally rubbish at Minecraft. Yeah, no. Right, we want it there, like that. There we go. So if we block that off like that, then when we breed them, they're not going to fall down. So, yeah, we can do this. We've got the technology. We can absolutely do this. It's not going to be a problem at all. Anyway, let's go get some animals in here then. So how are we going to do this? We need pigs in here, we need cows in there, and we need sheep in here. And I think it's probably going to be easiest to bring them from, from up above. Unless we could bring them out from out the back, possibly. We'll see. Right, I'm destroying everything again, only because when I'm getting them, the animals down here, I want all of this to be nice and flat so that they're easy to get around. Everything before was all half slabs like that, which animals don't really like walking on half slabs, and it also means putting fences on is going to be pretty difficult. So I'm going to make walkways like flush with the top for now, and then we can move them back again once we've got the animals in. Right, there we go. I've got all the areas cornered off like that, and I'm going to be bringing the animals in from here, and I can literally just dig up this way, and this should take me to the surface. Now, I don't really need it three wide like that, so I'll, I'm will i going to dig it three wide, just so that if I ever need to use this in the future, I've got a decent enough tunnel. And this should hopefully take us to the surface, although we are pretty low down in the world. So, uh, and no doubt my luck, I'll come up inside a mountain somewhere, so I'll be digging for ages, but we'll see. We'll see where we end up. Oh, and I'm in the sea. <laughs> what a surprise. Oh, look, X-ray mod. <laughs> I can see really well and breathe while I'm doing that, actually. That's uh, interesting. Yeah, I've uh, I've come up in the ocean, which is not where I want to be at all. Uh, yeah, definitely don't want to be in the ocean. That's a, that's a, oh, I'm not in the ocean. That's not too bad, actually. We could probably get away with this if we just built something around it. And look, we've got cows and sheep right nearby. No pigs, though. So we could probably use this. So if I just make this, like, watertight so it's not just going to fill up with water, maybe it wouldn't be too much of an issue. Or I could perhaps come up at an angle. I don't know. No, I'm going to make it watertight. <laughs> Will you stop it? Stop swimming! Oh, it drives me nuts. I don't want to swim. I never, ever, ever, ever want to swim in Minecraft ever again because swimming in Minecraft sucks. It's rubbish. It's annoying. Put me back to just being able to wade through water like I used to without suddenly going into a one block thin gap and suffocating myself or just moving about erratically. I don't like it. I don't want it. Take it out of the game, please. And you, sunshine, you can clear off. I'm whinging here. Look at this. I'm stuck in crouch mode. I haven't pressed crouch. I can't move. I can't jump. I can't swim. I have to uncrouch to get out of it. Even though I never press crouch. These water mechanics suck. They're so bad. Take them out of the game. You ruined it. Minecraft underwater was fine. Yes, I like the addition of the coral. I don't like the addition of swimming. Not at all. Not even one bit. What, what's, what, what's wrong with the boat? <laughs> I like boats. Now you've got to swim now, even when you don't want to. But I don't want to. Now, tough. You've got to swim. 
I have some bad news, everyone. And the good news is all of the animals are in place. The bad news is I had the right ordeal getting them in there, and I didn't record any of it because I pressed the wrong button to start recording. So uh, you've missed out on some pure comedy gold with me, Foxy no Tail, as I was literally shouting at this last pig here to go in the hole. He was floating over this hole. He kept jumping off the edge here, climbing down there, he was escaping. Just one pig. The sheep went in fine. The cows went in this pine, but this one pig has made me literally, you know, rethink my entire life when it comes to Minecraft. It's so infuriating. Even when I got and put, I made this hole twice as big and he was perfectly floating over in it, not touching any of the sides, but still wouldn't go down. It was unbelievable. Anyway, they're all in now, so I can stop moaning. And I'm just in the process of putting the tops back on so I can start breeding these guys up. So uh, so I'm going to start with the pigs and hopefully this new design from Extreme Game DNA will work. I'm hoping it will anyway. If it doesn't, I'm, uh, I'm going to throw my computer out of the window and I'm quitting Minecraft forever. But other th I'm pretty confident. So let's turn on the water. Let's feed those two. And hopefully they'll, they'll make a nice baby. And the baby's not going to go anywhere because that trapdoor is down. That's good. So we can turn the water off. In fact, I don't even think we need the water on at the minute because we've only got two of each in each one. C can we feed them both? Possibly? Or do we need the water on? Shouldn't turn that on without the slabs on. I don't know. I don't know if we need the water on or not. But anyway, I can get rid of all these fences now. I can put my quartz back and, uh, and yeah, get these things all set up and I can get them all bred. Yep, the cow baby is exactly where it's supposed to be. That's a good sign. And the sheep baby is exactly where it's supposed to be. That's also a good sign. So, so far, so good. So far, things are quite positive. Apart from my ordeal with the pigs that you missed, I'm really sorry about that. I thought, oh, this is, this is going to be really good. This is going to be good fun. <laughs> It'll be a nice bit of a laugh for the episode. And I was, uh, you know, getting all carried away with it. And, and then I realized I wasn't even recording. I was so gutted that I was talking to myself all that time. <laughs> <laughs> what a weirdo. Oh, well. All right, there we go. That's all the slabs back in then. So now I'm going to move these little, this little tiny staircase because uh, it's a bit in the way there. And I'm going to put it over there instead. And I don't know what I'm going to do about all of those stairs leading down from the over, from the overworld. From, from above, I think I'm just going to block it off, to be honest. Now, I was going to name tag all of the animals as well to try and make sure that they didn't sort of contribute to the mob cap. But apparently testing has confirmed that makes absolutely no difference whatsoever in the bedrock edition of the game. If you uh, name tag them, they still take up the mob cap, which is a bit sad. But, you know, what are we going to do? So uh, there's no point whatsoever in name, name tagging them. So I shan't bother. Right then, so I suppose while I'm breeding these guys up and uh, and getting their numbers up, I ought to do something else in the meantime, didn't I? Something, I don't know, maybe we could start working on this wheat farm then. So I might just make one of these chunks a wheat farm. Oh no, I need to decorate this thing, don't I? <laughs> Haven't done the decoration yet. And I also realised outside of the episode that my jungle, my cocoa bean farm, this jungle one here, is not high enough up. It should be all the way up to those slabs and it's not. So I'm going to have to fill that out with a few more leaves to make it reach. Uh, and yeah, I'm just going to do like like a pig and a cow and a sheep face on here, I think, maybe. Or maybe I should make it look like a laboratory. I don't know. Maybe I could like put the text meat farm in there somehow. I don't know. I haven't really thought about it, to be honest. Right, so I'll grab myself some leaves and now I just need to like literally build this up so that it's nice and flush with the front, which is going to make it look a bit weird, to be honest, because it'll be a, a bit too uniform. So I might try and 3D it out a little bit just so it doesn't look too flat. There we go. That should do it. Let's go uh, have a look down and see how that looks. So let's just pop ourselves over here and that should. Oh, it looks really weird and flat like I said it would. Right, let's fix that then. And also it looks very thin. It doesn't look like there's a great deal of foliage at the top up there. I don't know. And I've... Ow, 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 ow. No, please. Ah, uh. Not very good at flying. It doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look too bad. It's still a little bit strange, but it doesn't look too bad. I'm quite happy with that, actually. So that'll do. Now we need to look at how we're going to make this one look. And I don't know. I really, really don't know. I wanted to do like a big cow's face or a big pig's face or something like that. But I'm thinking, 
maybe to make it look like a laboratory, but then all the other things as well, sort of, I don't know, they tie in with what they are, don't they? So, I don't know. I could do like a weird pig-sheep-cow hybrid face, but I don't know how well that would come across, to be honest. Right, are any of you guys ready for breeding up again yet? Because I've gotten some nice tasty stuff here, and I want to give it to you, but only if you're ready. Are you ready? Yeah, you are. What about you guys? Are you ready? You can do some more baby making for me. Thank you. And you guys as well, if you wouldn't mind. I would like some more sheep babies if possible. Thank you. There we go. This is going to cost me a lot of wheat. I really do need a wheat farm. Really do need a wheat farm. Okay, I've got a plan. And the plan is that I'm going to actually do all of the faces of the animals because the animals, if you look at them in terms of pixel art, are only 8 by 8 and this thing is 16 by 16 So I should be able to get a cow, a sheep, and a pig, and then have a quarter of this left for nothing. So I'm going to need some brown, some grey, some pink, some white, some black, and maybe a couple of other textures as well to make this work okay. And I've got most of those things except black now if i look in my dye box yes i do have some ink sacks which is great what about light gray light gray as well which will be useful and if i grab some gravel and if i grab some sand i should be able to make a few light gray blocks of concrete and some black blocks of concrete now i don't think i'm going to need many and i think i've got actually loads of black already upstairs but it doesn't matter uh yeah i don't think i'm going to need many so uh yeah let's see how we get on with this it should be interesting Right, I'm going to start with the pig, so I'm going to start at the bottom, so we're nice and low down, and I'm only, I've am only i only got pink, oh, I need a different shade of pink, is there another block in the game that's like a different shade of pink, what about wool, I've got different wools, have I got any pink wool, one piece, yeah I'm going to need, oh, I'm going to need loads of different shades of colours, can I dye white wool, can I, I can't remember Minecraft, how to Minecraft, I've forgotten, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's one for one, isn't it? Oh, that's so expensive. So expensive! Oh, and I can make pink concrete powder. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Let's grab a few of those and let's just see what we can do. Let's just see what we can do. Um, yeah, one. <laughs> I'm going to do the whole thing out of pink concrete for now. And then I'm going to do it. Then I'll, I'll shade it with the different blocks. Does that make sense? I know what I'm on about. Right, okay, so with no other colours or shading in there, that's what the pink pig looks like, which is really weird. So let's work, let's work on his nose first. Let's pop a few different sort of shades of pink in there. Now, down here, it's actually darker, but I can't do it exactly the same. So I'm just going to have to sort of randomly chuck these blocks in, maybe like that. That doesn't look too horrendous. Let's just try working on his nostrils as well. I quite like, I like the pink wool texture. That looks a bit weird how the, uh, yeah, that looks a bit weird. <laughs> That's not too bad. Our step's in the way though. Let's move that step. Let's put another block there. I'm going to need loads of pink wool. Oh man, it's going to cost me a fortune in pink dye. I'm trying to like actually use the, the, like, the lightness of the actual colours on the picture and it just looks weird. So, what I'm going to do... <laughs> oh, I'm going to make his nose out of the uh, out of wool, I think. Like that. And I'm going to forget the concrete, or the, at least the wet concrete altogether. And I'm going to make the rest of it out of the concrete powder, just because it's a, it's a softer colour. And I think that will look better overall. I think that's going to look more like a pig. He still looks a little bit like he's got a rash because the concrete powder is so, like, spotty, if you like. But hopefully it won't be too bad. And obviously I need to do those top two levels, layers as well. Um, <laughs> at the top. Oh, I don't know. This is ridiculous. Well, that's a bit better. I think that looks more like the pig. It's lacking detail. So lacking a lot of detail, but it's, yeah, it's more like actual close to what the pig looks like. And I think it's probably about as good as I'm going to get, to be honest. I'm not a pixel artist. I'm not very good at pixel art at all. As you can tell. Right, next up then is the cow, and that's going to go above the pig. So now I've got to start working at height, which isn't going to be easy. 
Now looking at the picture, the cow actually looks a lot easier because the majority of it, the majority of its colours are quite flat. There's not really a lot of shading going on with the cow. So this shouldn't be, I say shouldn't be, I'm not saying it isn't, I'm saying it shouldn't be too difficult, but we'll see. So far, what I've done, I'm relatively happy with, except for the fact that I've completely messed that bit up there. I've done that a layer too low. But like this entire row across here, if you look at the cow's face on the actual picture, it's all smooth. There's no shading, there's no difference in colours or texture at all. So it should be, fingers crossed, a much easier thing to do. And we've got a better range of colours for this, because this is mostly, apart from the brown, whites and greys, which I've got lots of, which is good. Now there is a slight problem here. <laughs> I've milled the whole thing one thing too far up. I don't actually have enough room. There should be 16 blocks from top to bottom, but I forgot that included this stair block here. So I've made the whole thing, the entire thing. Oh man, and it looks weird. The cow looks weird. <laughs> Even without moving those like janky staircase, I can see that looks weird. Oh, that's so annoying. I'm gonna have to drop the whole thing down by one block. Oh man. <laughs> I was like, yay, this one's nice and easy. No, of course not. Which means now, instead of my cow looking weird, my pig's going to look weird. <laughs> but I don't care. You don't care, don't you? Yeah, I do. That's looking more like it. That looks more like a Minecraft cow. So the pig and the cow were done, and they're not too bad. They're not too horrendous. I've dropped down... This bit as well, so you can see the bottom of the pig's face. So what I'll probably do is maybe just put some like reverse steps in that way, just so that you can see down to that. I don't know yet, we'll figure that out. So now I just do need to do the sheep up there, and then this last bit here is just gonna be, I don't know, just some sort of random texture, I guess. All right, something strange is going on here. The sheep's face I've got is only six blocks across, it's not eight. So I don't know how this is gonna work out. It's gonna look weird. Of course it is, because it's not a full, Oh, I know. I just put. I'll just do a row of blocks around it. That'd be fine. That's fine. Doesn't matter. We can work with this. We'll just do. Yeah, the sheep's wool around the outside. It's okay. <laughs> this sheep's got a bit of a tan. <laughs> I don't have a like a softer brown. I suppose I could use wood. How is it still not the right size? What? All right then. Let's look at our sheep. <laughs> He's been on holiday. He's got himself a suntan. He's looking good. He's looking good. I, yeah, that's okay. It looks like a sheep. So, so far, so far, so good. We just need now the last pattern. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to move the door slightly just so that, yeah, it's not like over where that is. We can put the door probably here, I guess. And that way it's not going to, uh, yeah, overlap where our pig is. And then we can just build some sort of generalized random square pattern there. I don't know what it's good at, maybe just the white concrete to be fair, because the rest of the thing's made out of white concrete. We could perhaps even have some sea lanterns in it. I don't know. I really don't know, and at this moment in time, I don't really care. <laughs> that might sound like I've had enough or I'm fed up or something. It's not, it's just that it doesn't really matter, does it? It's just a meat farm. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to look perfect. I'm agonizing over this far too much for what it is, and I really don't need to. And now I'm putting holes everywhere because of efficiency too. Look at this, look at the mess I'm making. Oh dear, I'm a... <laughs> Well, I didn't know what to do with that bit, so I've just added some random sort of weird pattern in. I suppose that's kind of like the water that is in the system. It doesn't mean anything, it doesn't do anything, it's just completely random and it looks ridiculous. The whole thing <laughs> looks completely ridiculous, but then so does most of my stuff to be fair, so, uh, so I can't really say too much about it. Now while I've been doing that, I've been completely forgetting to be breeding the animals that are inside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a bit of a tidy up, I'm going to put my stuff away and I'm going to get cracking on breeding those animals because we ain't going to get no cooked meat if we haven't got any... Uh, we ain't got any animals. So yeah, let me crack on with this and I'll get back to you in a minute. All right, that's everything nice and tidy. Let's go and get these animals bred then. So literally nothing has happened since I uh, I bred them last. So I need to 
need to get cracking with that. Well, hopefully some of the adults will have grown up, so we might actually get a few more babies each time now. So let's sort those cows out. Let's go and sort the sheep out. Come on, guys. Time to give me lots of... Oh, I've run out of weight. Great. <laughs> and the pigs. Here we go. At least I've got plenty of carrots. I don't have to worry too much about that. But I think that probably means it is a good idea to go and, uh, yeah, stock up on some wheat. So I'm going to go back home. I'm going to put all of my tasty wheat... No, I'm going to put all of this stuff away. And I'm going to see how much wheat I've actually got. And see if we can make some sort of wheat farm. Now, I don't know if we need to make a wheat farm. Because there is a wheat farm in the community area. Now, I don't know how much wheat is there. But hopefully we'll be able to pinch some of that. So let's, uh, let's go see what we've got. And then see what we can pinch from the community area. Right, uh, looking in our wheat box, what have we got? We've got loads of seeds. Oh, we've got a whole box of wheat there. That's good. And we've got a little bit there. Let's just see how much is actually in this sugar box. Not much. Now, what about at the community area then? Let's go see what there is over there. Now, what farms have we got here then? We've got a wool farm, which would have come in handy earlier. I forgot about this. <laughs> oh, well. <gasps> we got a wheat farm. There doesn't actually appear to be a farmer in there. So maybe, is it a manual one? Could be a manual one. What's in here? Oh, seeds. Lots of seeds. Oh, lots of hay bales. Now, can you turn hay bales back into wheat? You can. Oh, that's good then. Well, I don't think anyone would mind too much if I just pinched a little bit of this. Maybe like just a few stacks of hay bales. No one would mind. Surely not. Surely they wouldn't mind Foxy No Tail pinching a few hay bales worth. Uh, but yeah, I'm just, these, I'm sure, there's a villager there, but there's no villager in there. So that's a little bit concerning. You know how in the new update with the pandas, you can just like literally chuck food at them, bamboo and cake, and they will eat it. You don't actually have to click on them to feed them. I would like that with all animals. I would like it that you could just chuck some wheat at some animals and they'll eat it. And then you could just put wheat on the floor and they would eat it when they were ready. And you could have like a hopper system that just permanently dropped wheat out from a dispenser and if it wasn't gathered within a second or two then like restock it i think that would be really good right now that i have many many wheats it is time to give everybody some tasty wheat again come on guys let's get this tasty wheat down you give me some babies please if you wouldn't mind and uh, and you guys you can have some wheat you have some babies please if you wouldn't mind that would be very nice of you and if we look through the little window oh how did you do that? Sneaky sheep. Ah, oh, how do they glitch through? I know it's because it's glass. Don't tell me because it's glass. I know they glitch through glass. But I want to see in. They shouldn't glitch through. It's not fair. Now I've got to go find my leads again and try and get this one back in. Oh, well, at least you get to see me struggling to get an animal into the machine now, I suppose. Come on, you. Up these steps. Come on. Come on. Please make my life easy this time because... Because your friend the pig was a nightmare. Oh, wow, that was easy. Thank you very much. Problem is now, <laughs> I can't take my lid lead off because I can't click him. What's if I just do that? Can I, can I unclick him, please? I need to detach you. Now, I am sorry if this episode was a little bit shorter than usual and that we haven't done too many exciting or interesting things. As you can probably tell, I am a little bit under the weather. I've got a bit of a sore throat and a runny hope of snotty nose. Gross. It's that time of year. The colds are coming. So, uh, so yeah, I'm just... Uh, I'm doing my best, okay? Okay? Right, anyway, on that note, I'm going to say... Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do please leave a like. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!